Hello, I am Eli J. Brown, slash Brony, as you can tell. I've recently changed my YouTube username with uh, Google+. Plus. Uh, a lot of people don't like that new update because... for a lot of reasons. But there are some good things about it, such as being able to change my username. Well, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'm not going to go through uh, discussing the fact that I changed the, my YouTube uh, username. Uh, but anyway, let's get on to the actual video. Um, this is a old Bionicle set that came out in 2009, um, one of the last years of Bionicle. Um, I got this at Toys R Us one year uh, in 2010 when the uh, Hero Factory sets first came out and uh, Toys R Us was, uh, still had Bionicle sets because, well, they needed to get rid of the rest, and I think that I got this at a lower price than what it was originally, uh, how it, much it originally cost it, so that, that is a good thing. Uh, this is the Thornatus V9, I also have the instruction book right here, and, um, Th this one actually uses two instruction books because it's such a big set. Um, they, they, they haven't made any large sets like this in Hero Factory since, well, probably since the dropship from the first year. But, anyway, this is the Thornatus V9, and inside of it is Pettidus. He is a Glatorian of the Fire Tribe, and he isn't specifically the one to own this sort of uh, uh, vehicle here. There, are, it's a vehicle that is commonly used by Glatorian and Agori on the planet Bara Magna. It features all sorts of. Uh, cool features, such as, uh, these ball shooters on the ends. These were first introduced in the, uh, Fantoka series. And he's also got a, uh, a Thornax launcher here, uh, that you can shoot, just like all of the others. I need to go and get that. All of the other Glatorian sets do. And another interesting thing is that you can actually fold the wheels out, just like this. Kind of reminds me of some sort of Star Wars thing. Uh, though I'm not really a huge fan of Star Wars. I do remember being kind of a fan to it. Not completely one, but my sister was huge into uh, Star Wars, and I think she still is. <clears throat> it's got a lot of uh, s small wheels up at the front, and it's also got this huge wheel on the back, which is a pretty cool thing. Though a lot of Bionicle sets before the Barra Magna series did not have any vehicles that had actual wheels. It was kind of a no-wheel world, but Barra Magna is quite different from that, where they do have actual wheels. Amazing how the, uh, the Agori tribe, uh, is a lot different from the Matoran group. Now I'm gonna take Petty this out of here. It's always cool to include an extra little figure in a uh, vehicle, you know, not just have it be the vehicle and not come with an additional uh, figure because that would be kind of boring actually. Though they did that with the Exo Toa, just having it be the, the Exo Toa armor and not including an actual Toa inside of it, but. It is good that they put an actual figure inside of 
the uh, vehicles, so it's not just a plain old set, which just has a vehicle. Um, that, that thing was kind of blocking the wheel. So, this is Petty Dust, all on his own. He does not carry any weapons at, at all. He does not even have one of those uh, number things on his back, like the uh, Glitorian of the... Uh, from the canister series had. Uh, so he he basically he's mostly built from parts that we've had previously. Though a couple new things, at least at the time that the set was released, but they're not really new anymore because it's 2013 now. Uh, a thing that was new at the time for this set would be the mask. Uh, this is a mask that comes in two different colors, which would include the uh, dark red color right here. And this was also used for Samod in the, uh, uh, what was the name of that set again? I think it's somewhere in this book. Nope, not, not there. Oh. Uh, I'm looking through. Oh! The Baranus V7. Uh, the instruction books from the uh, summer 2009 sets show a picture of all of the summer 2009 sets uh, at the back of the book, including that vehicle right there. I got every single one of those sets. N not at the same time, of course, because, you know, I bought some of those sets off of uh, Bricklink, particularly the Baranus V7 and the Kindox V1. Oops, I tipped them over. And I think I also got the Caxium V3 from Bricklink 2, but the Scopio XV1 I got for Christmas in 2011. So be sure to check out that uh, video that I posted showing me reviewing that if you haven't seen it. So this is a mask that is the same mold as uh, Samad's mask from the Baranus V7, except in a different color. Samad's mask is orange, not dark red. And another odd bit here is that they, they put on these uh, armor pieces right here, the Toa Nika armor pieces, and they use these new sort of, um, well, they were new at the time, these sort of new, fairly new, uh, at the time of release, uh, Technic arm pieces uh, that have pinholes on the side rather than from right here. And they just connect these onto there. Uh, those very thin left arms was also a good idea for that because without them, the blue uh, friction piece would be sticking out a little ways. And he's got the range of motion of all of the uh, sets. He, uh, he does not include many new pieces. We've had these feet before, we've had the legs before, we've had the arms before. Not really anything new, but a good figure to have around. And the vehicle, well, I'm gonna take a couple looks at the vehicle here. Well, you could put about any Glatorian into the, this vehicle. You could also put an Agori in this vehicle, or a Toa set from a previous year. I whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, there are these all, also these. I think they're supposed to be called handles that you can put the fi the hands of the figure on to uh, hold on to it. This and with this. Uh, opening hood, you could put the uh, figure into the vehicle, so it could run. <laughs> Things seem to be falling out today. So another thing to also note would be these pieces. I'm gonna take one off right now. And you, you should remember where these pieces came from, don't you? These came from the Krika set from the uh, Mystica series quite interesting that they are using the same uh, mask again to use it for something that isn't a mask. And it looks pretty cool right there. 
Though, if you are a mocker and you wanted to make some sort of mock using uh, oh God, oh God, oh, this sort of piece in this color, you could do that. I personally don't have any plans for that, though it kind of looks like it could be some sort of uh, snake or um, some sort of uh, evil uh, bug creature or something like that. So, there you have it. That is the Thornatus V9. I apologize that I did not make a video about this set um, earlier, uh, at, like at the time that I uh, bought this set, because while well, I wasn't doing reviews at the time that I got this set, uh, someone on YouTube suggested me to do uh, reviews, and I have been doing so ever since. So, that is about all, so thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to look out for other things that uh, I will bring up on my channel, and also look me up on DeviantArt, my username there is LincolnRudoFan, you may remember that that was my username here on YouTube until it got suspended in 2011 for uh, who knows why. Who knows really why. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again in my next video. I'll see you next time.